Good morning, Vishal. I am Kaden, and this is Angel. And today we are here for your news updates. Bishop Noel Hine announced on April 26 that Pope Francis has appointed him the new Bishop of Diocese of Madison in Wisconsin. Hailing from Milwaukee, Hine will return to his home state after acting as Bishop in the Diocese of Gary's for four years. Hine is expected to stay in Gary until late June, but a new Bishop may not be named for up to two years. Congratulations to the Mass Media's class owned sophomore, Bethany Atsky. Bethany won second place at the 11th Valparaiso University Great Lakes High School Chinese Speech Contest on Sunday, April 28th. Bethany beat out close to 20 other Chinese students in the state to take home her silver medal. The school's end of the year Mass will be Wednesday, May 15th. This is the final Mass of the year for the entire student body. Fine Arts Weekend. It will take place May 17th, 18th, and 19th. The showcase of events will feature one acts, an art gallery, and a spring band and choir concert. Here is Ms. Jones with more. Okay, so we're here with Ms. Jones right now. And Hi. are you looking forward to this week for the Fine Arts Weekend? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really exciting because in terms of the theater performances, we're doing an evening of 10-minute plays. And all the plays are student-directed, and two of them are actually student-written work. So it's kind of fun to see the students take my place as their director, and I get to just sit back and watch. But I'm really excited to see what they come up with. Do you think it's all going to turn out really good? I hope so. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, really, I hope so, I think so. They're, they're working hard. Like I said, they're kind of taking the position of a director and stepping into my shoes, and they're, they're finding out that it's not as easy as I think they think it is sometimes, um, but it's coming together really nicely. Okay, and what do you think the outcome of all the hard work you put in, the biggest challenge that has come upon it? Um, I think... As a result, it's going to be a really great showcase of like student creativity. Like I said, some of these two of the shows were written by students themselves. So the fact that they have wrote their own play, directed it, they have put the whole show together. I think it's going to be a really nice like display of student student creativity and like how much work they've put into something. Um, and for drama club, it's just going to be a nice showcase of what we've been doing all year. Um, and to showcase some of our actors and directors. And we even have kids doing the lights and the sound. Some costuming is going to be happening. So it's all going to be all hands-on, all student work, and it's going to be a nice way to showcase that. Okay, and we also know that the art gallery, the spring band, and choir concert are also going to be a part of this. Do you think that makes it even better? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think when you think Fine Arts Weekend, it includes all the arts, you know, visual, performing arts. It's a nice weekend to just come together as an arts department and show off our students. Okay, thank you. Seniors, Blake Jaliski is heading up the Senior Slideshow Committee this year. If you have any pictures from your past four years or anything you would like to be shown for Bishop Noel, be sure to send them to Blake. The Senior Slideshow will be shown at the... iPads. All iPads and their original accessories must be turned in by the last day of school. A special de designated collection plan will be completed after your last final exam. You will need to turn in your iPad and your keyboard and case, your charger, and the cord. If all items are turned in or aren't turned in, or your items are damaged, it will cost you. Also, be sure to save all important files before getting rid of them at the end of the school year. Here's a short instructional video to explain the process. That is all for your news updates. Now here are Eric and Chloe with your sports updates. 